what's up y'all welcome back to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe today we'll be doing a morphine look of one of my favorite morphine palettes so stay tuned with that um comment below what's your favorite morphine palette because i swear i have like all of them so i'm down to talk about them <laughs> um also comment below what else you want to see on my channel and let's get right into the look all right y'all so to get into this look we're going to be using the 35V um, palette by Morphine. Now this is one of my favorite palettes by them because it's very colorful. Um, I like all the colors in it. I don't know, it's just my type of palette, okay? So, here is what the palette looks like. Ooh, ooh, just every time I open it, I'm like, like it just gives me excitement, so. Um, there's another palette by them that I really like which I will be um, putting another video up about it. But yeah, and I feel like these shimmers are like very pigmented. A little goes a long way. And it's only like, it gotta be less than $30. I totally forgot how much I paid for it. But um, I know it has to be less than $30. Maybe like $25, $27, something like that. But yeah, and it's pretty cheap. You get like, you get 35 shades. Oh, that's probably why it's called 35B. I'm slow. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to be using Subculture's mirror because I can't find no other mirror. So let's get into this look. So, because we're going to be doing like a um, gold, uh, gold slash smoky blue eye. So kind of smoky. I'm not going to do it too smoky because I don't. I don't really like too smoky because it just I don't know I don't know I can't really explain it but um yeah let's get into this look <laughs> so I'm gonna start by taking this color right here this color right here and then working this color into it just to like kind of start the look get it in there okay Oops, sorry. I gotta find a brush. My skin's been looking really good. I have no idea why. Because, I don't know. Maybe because I drink a lot of water. Like, I don't really drink pop unless I'm out eating. So, and as you know, I'm using some morphine brushes. Like, what's new? What is new? And I already did my eyebrows, as you can see. Um, and I primed my eyes with some concealer. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the video, or uh, last video, that I'm going to start using eyeshadow primer because it kind of makes, I feel like it makes the look more, um, more, I know, pop, I would say. Unless you're using a concealer, like I'm using concealer that I use under my under eyes. Now, if you use a concealer that's like really lighter than your skin tone, then it makes it more pop. So, just keep in mind that. Because honestly, like, I didn't really realize that until a couple months ago. And I've been putting on eyeshadow forever, so. Yeah. Because I always used to think, like, how can I make my looks more pop and... It also starts with primer. And believe me, I used to be, when I was, um, when I was younger and starting to get into makeup, like, I'm thinking, oh, I don't need primer. Like, that's just more money to spend. Well, yeah, sis, you do need primer. You do. For sure. I'm not going to do a cut crease. I am going to get into some videos of doing cut creases. It's just, like, I've never had... I never usually have time for cut creases, so I never really practice them too much. But I am going to soon, soon, just rumble it up. Then we're going to take some blue. I'm going to use another morphine brush, okay? So I'm going to be using this color. Oh, I'm using this color. And then I'm going to work this color in there eventually i'll tell you when i'm going to i have the names up here but it's too much flipping up and down so we're just not gonna do that but yeah we're gonna work that in the crease there 
I wore this, um, this look, um, when did I wear this? Last Saturday when I had Friendsgiving. And I actually really liked it. Like, I just did it out the blue. And, like, I, you know, I don't know if it's me, but when I'm in a rush, I do my makeup so good, but, like, but, like, when I'm in, um, when I'm, like, taking, like, when I, when I have sweet time, unless I, like, really, really start off with a good start, because it starts with eyebrows. Like, if I do my eyebrows wrong, like, I just be, like, forget it. I'm gonna just do whatever to my makeup, like. But, yeah, sometimes when I'm in a rush, I do the best eye looks, and it makes no sense, because it's like, okay, I would have not thought about that if I would have took my time makes no sense but yeah i'm gonna keep working that blue in there and sometimes if you don't feel like the um the blue is not as pigmented what i do is i go in with some black which i will show you when i get later into it i'm gonna take some of that orange one more time because i kind of went Okay, so I'm gonna take some of the darker blue that I showed you. I'm gonna use the same blue brush because I don't know. I probably should use a different one, which I'll do within a minute, but. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna take this black color right here to like darken it, darken it up, make it a little darker and take a little bit because honestly, if you take a lot of black, it's, it might not, um, it might be harder to blend. I'm gonna just take some more. You see that kind of made it like a really big difference, but you just take it and I kind of just pat it in there. Like that. Ooh, it's coming together. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blue and just work that in there. Just to make sure the black doesn't overpower. It still looks um still looks dark blue. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, to finish it off, cause it's pretty easy, I'm gonna take um, this like little flat brush and I'm gonna use this gold color right here. Now, what I do to get the pigment on there is basically I just rub it together. I'll actually show you on my hand first, but rub it together like that. And then honestly, like it really does like do a good pigment like that you see so um i'll just show so just rub your brush kind of back and forth a little bit don't rub it too hard because that can take that can really just like make the eyeshadow look messy so just take it a little bit and honestly you can go back and forth so i'm gonna just put it right where you see the white but just put it there and the eyes like since i didn't do a cut crease it doesn't have to be too perfect because honestly, if like you get a lot of shimmer where the blue is, you could just go over it with blue. It's an easy fix. Honestly, when you know where to place your eye uh, eyeshadow, sometimes you don't even need to do a cut crease. Like cut crease to makes it makes it more clean and precise. But honestly, sometimes like you don't really even need to do a cut crease if you are very careful where you put your eyeshadows and where you blend. Go back in with this orange 
I never did this. This one's right here. And then I'm going to just go back up here. I'm kind of just to make it a little bit oranger. Need some more. There we go. And that's about it. So now I'm going to go and um, put on some lashes. Do my foundation routine. And because my favorite foundation routine is the same. So I will be right back with the finished look. Alright y'all, I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. This is the finished look. Um, I just did my regular foundation routine and all that good stuff. So yeah, don't forget to comment below what's your favorite morphine palette or what palette you are wanting to try because I probably have almost all of them, like I said. So I am down to talk about them. Also comment below what else you want to see on my channel. Um, since I'm new to YouTube, I am down to do whatever. So yeah, and I will be coming out with some more videos this week. So tune into that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.